Greetings, Carriage Club. We got a dyna another dynamic warm-up series for you guys. Okay, again, there is no equipment needed for this, just your body weight, and that's all you need. A couple of the movements most of you should be able to do. If there are some movements that are a little too kind of jumping around or anything like that, we can always scale those back so that you guys can fit those into wherever you need to into your workout. Okay. Again, this takes just a couple minutes to do. Great way to get everything moving up. Okay, moving around, excuse me. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is leg swings. So if you have a wall behind you, you can do this off a wall, you can do this off a tree in the park, you can do this off your car. So again, if you're driving to a destination, okay, and uh, you go into a park, you can always do this off the side of your car. It might look a little weird, but it still works, okay? So what you need is a wall, and you're gonna go side to side leg swing. So I'm gonna do a couple with my leg, my back turned to you, so you can kind of see what my hips are doing, what the legs are doing, okay? So you're gonna get 20 per side, here. Okay, you're gonna hit 20 and then switch. Again, if you don't have access to a wall, because say, let's say you're outdoors, doing this off a car, off a tree, preferably your car, <laughs> okay? Um, that is 100% uh, just kind of make it your own. Front to back leg swings, if you have pretty good balance, you could probably not do this without holding on to anything, but again, find something to just kind of stabilize you. We're going front to back right here. Now, a common mistake is I see a lot of people lose their torso, so they kind of go like this, right? I want you to stay as rigid as you can, as tall as you can. Swing back, forward, back, forward. And as you swing your leg up, you're drawing the toes back towards you, just getting that nice dynamic stretch on the hamstrings, okay? So you have side to side, front to back, 20, 20 each. Next one we're gonna do are arm circles, real simple, right here. 10 forward, okay? 10 backwards, really emphasizing moves with the shoulder blades and creating that nice big range of motion. You can make this fast, you can make this slow, your call. Next one, jumping jacks, classic jumping jacks, okay? And then we're gonna go to crisscross. You're gonna do 20 each here, okay? So it's up, down, okay? There's your jumping jacks for 20. Crisscross jacks, don't worry so much about what the hands are doing, it's the footwork. But if you can crisscross, okay? Crisscross the hands and feet, and again, when you're doing that, try to keep as square as you can. So try not to get a whole lot of twisting and turning. We wanna keep that pretty much straight up and linear, okay? So we have the leg swings, side to side. Leg swings, front to back. Um, we have the arm circles forward, arm circles backwards, jumping jacks, crisscross jacks. And then we will also go into now a, uh, what's our next on our board here? We have snap downs, okay? Now when you do this, go slow. So again, what you're doing is you're gonna reach up high, coming down, Reach up, coming down, reach up, coming down. Okay, nice and slow, working on that good mechanics, replicating the deadlift, replicating a good jump. So you do 10 of those, and then we're gonna go to full body swing, okay? Think of this as a exaggerated kettlebell swing. Take feet wide, reach up high, swing through, up, down, up, down. You're gonna go 10 of those. Now when you do that, make sure your back stays nice and straight, Keep your eyes up and really emphasize pushing the hips back. Then I want you to stay very strict. So this is where you're gonna put your hands behind your head, elbows stay back, we push back, back up, lock the legs tight. Push back, lock the legs tight. So what we're doing there is looking for a really good stretch on the hamstrings, we're getting all the legs nice and tight and the muscles nice and tight when we go to good, get a good hip extension, okay? So we have the full body swing. That last one was the good morning. The next one is the uh, groiners. Make these very smooth. You're gonna go 10 and 10, okay? So good push up position. Step, switch, just nice and slow. If you want to get a little reach up, that's totally up to you, okay? If you've uh, seen the other videos in our interim series that I've done, uh, we can elaborate on that way much, way more on that. So but just go through that nice and smooth again, 10 to 10, cool? Next one's inchworms, all right? So you can either do this in space where you walk out or walk back, or you can just travel if you're out at the park or uh, just in your backyard, you can do this across the, across the path, okay? So you're just gonna go break toe touch, walk it out. So you're here in place, hold the plank, walk it back, okay? If you were traveling, you would start from here, Walk it out, walk it up. Now, you can either walk it back out, or if you want to, walk it all the way up, stand up reset, do another rep, okay? 
So just five of those, all right? Inchworms. Now we're gonna go into a drop squat. Think jumping jack motion with the legs. Torso stays upright as you can. I'll go from the side first. We're gonna get 10 of these. So feet are jumping out. Drop, touch the floor. Touch the floor. Touch the floor. From the front, jump out, touch. Touch. If you want a little bit more dynamic stretch on the body, on the groin, keep your hands behind the head, okay? Keep the chest up, drop in lower. Again, that's gonna give you just a little bit more stretch, okay? Last one, or last two, snap downs. Now you're gonna go back to um, that motion where we're going down and then coming up, but I want you to really emphasize pulling tight with the hips, very fast with the hips, okay? So you guys are gonna be here and down, down, down. And again, as if uh, we were to test your vertical jump or say jump as high as you can, you would wanna create that nice dynamic motion going down to get that good power coming out, okay? So you do 10 of those reps right, that will get the heart rate up going pretty, pretty well. So again, think of that more as a pull with the hips, or as we jokingly call it, a butt punch, where you punch back hard and fast. Last one, groiners. Just do five each here. Before you did 10 each, nice and slow and smooth, and methodical. Here I want you to give me five each, make it hard, fast, and aggressive. What I mean by that is this. So you start here, stick the foot. Now, try to keep your hips as level as you can, and you can either do it two ways. You can either switch it, stick and hold, switch, stick and hold, or quick steps, quick steps, okay? Again, what you're trying to do is keep the level of hips as level as you can and get a quick switch back and forth. So from the side, start with my right foot up, switch, 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 and then you're trying to go back and forth, okay? So again, try those out, keep it right in that sequence of order, Give it a shot, you'll feel nice and loose, ready to rock and roll. Thank you.